My name is Krishna and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, uh, we are into the episode 4 of AI Tech News and we'll try to see the recent development in the world of AI. And in this video, we are going to talk about Elon Musk and his company Neuralink Corporation. We'll try to see the innovation that he has made in the last month. And that is really a breakthrough. And it has really made headlines in many of the news articles. And probably if you don't know about Elon Musk, guys, I'm a huge fan of him. It's just not because of his work, because of his innovation, because of his imagination, which, which he's actually making it true. If you, are, if you have actually watched Avengers, right, you see a character named Tony Stark, right, the Iron Man. So just imagine in that particular way, I can compare that person with him, right, in real world. So whatever thing he's actually thinking, he's actually doing it, which we thought that it is actually impossible. So let's go ahead. So first of all, uh, if you don't know about Elon Musk, guys, apart from Neuralink, he has companies like SpaceX and Tesla. Obviously, if you know, if you don't know about SpaceX, I think, uh, obviously, you know about SpaceX. Uh, some of the inventions of SpaceX is Falcon 9, you know. So Falcon 9, if you don't know about Falcon 9, guys, it is a partially reusable two-stage two-orbit medium lift launch vehicle. That basically means, uh, you know, that vehicle, once it is launched, you know, the partial part can be reused for the next launch itself. So that amazing thing has actually come with respect to that Falcon 9. Apart from that, he has also come up with this Tesla company. Again, it is a amazing brand itself. You know, if you don't know about Tesla, they are accelerating the world's transition towards sustainable energy with electric cars, solar and integrated renewable energy solutions. So this was his two other inventions. And probably apart from that, he has also opened some previous companies like PayPal. He was once uh, a part of PayPal, you know, after that they sold and now he's moved into this particular sector itself, right? Now coming to the Neuralink Corporation, what is Neuralink Corporation? So here you can see that um, Neuralink uh, was founded by Elon Musk and some other people and they are actually developing implantable brain machine interfaces, which we basically call it as BMIs. The companies were aiming to make devices to treat some serious brain diseases in the short term with the eventual goal of human enhancement, right? I'll be showing their web page, guys, all the information that they have actually shared, you know. Trust me, this is very, very much important to treat some serious brain diseases. I'm talking about paralysis. I'm talking about many other diseases as such, right? This is an amazing inno innovation for those kind of people who are suffering from those kind of problems, right? In this, uh, we'll try, uh, basically this whole Neuralink Corporation is more focused on understanding the brain signals, interacting with the brain, engineering with the brain itself, right? So guys, before going ahead, uh, I also really want to discuss about this, this whole device called as EEG, okay? Through this EEG, neural activity can be monitored from the outside the head using non-invasive techniques such as EEG, okay? Usually what happens is that uh, this device, you know, it is just placed on top of your head, you know, and all the signals are actually captured based on the neural activity that are happening inside our brain. But there is some issues with this, you know. The issue is that uh, with this technique, each channel records the sum activity of millions of neurons, which means the details are blurred some uh, away, right? You know, the details are not clearly captured over there. Now, because of which, you know, if I talk about the brain machines interface, these are kind of electrodes which will be put inside your, um, you know, brain, near your brain, and it will be through a surgical procedure. And because of that, you know, it will be able to capture some good amount of information with respect to each and every activity that, that a human being is actually trying to do it. Now, let's go to their web page and try to see some amazing information. And guys, uh, coming to this, this is the whole page of Neuralink.com. Anybody can understand it, what they are actually trying to do and many more things. Okay. So uh, this is the whole website that they have. They have actually written breakthrough technology for the brain, you know. Now let's start with these things. This, they are mainly doing three different works. One will we'll try to understand the brain part, then interfacing with the brain, then engineering with the brain. It is very, very much clearly mentioned. So let me just click on this, understanding the brain. So this will be the first thing that we really want to understand that how Neuralink, what we are actually trying to solve, what problem they are actually trying to solve it. Okay, so we are going to see that. So here you can see that. Uh, this is the structure of the neuron. Okay, so if I just zoom out, you know, th this is the whole uh, neural uh, neuron architecture structure and you can see that each neuron to the other neuron is basically connected through synapses. This is pretty much simple. You have heard that in biology also, right? Then uh, neurons are also connected to synapses, which is this one and this electric signals will be passing uh, through synapses. Uh, you can see over here uh, with this 
some kind of action potential so basically any type of procedure that you do suppose i'm moving my hand like this so some signals are actually passing through my brain brain neurons and those information are passed through one neuron to the other neuron through the synapses now what is the plan the plan is that suppose this is the neuron part okay suppose this is the neuron part what they are going to do is that they're going to just place an electrode uh, through some surgical procedure near that specific neuron like they will be placing at one sp uh, specific point okay then any signals that actually gets passed through the neurons right that hole will get captured by those electrodes okay so here they are saying that we can record electric signals in in the brain we place electrodes near uh, near neurons in order to detect action potentials and all and this allows us to decode the information represented by those cells now this basically means that suppose i'm moving my cursor over here right suppose i move the cursor towards the right so some kind of signals they have also tested that you know some kind of signals usually passes through some of the neurons and that activity is actually detected because if 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 i if i'm trying to solve some use cases with respect to audio right where you are actually recognizing your voice right voice recognition voice is nothing but again there are some kind of signals you know that are actually coming up over there right similarly with respect to this whenever any kind of signals go through your brain suppose if i'm moving the mouse towards the right some signal will pass uh, through the neurons in my brain right and those records or electric signals are getting captured through this electrodes that is what they have actually mentioned and through that you know through that uh, these are the neurons uh, in the brain that carry information about everything we see we feel we touch or everything suppose i'm seeing that okay this is my mobile phone right suppose if i see that this is my mobile phone right so definitely a signal will be coming over there which will be different uh, and it will be passing through different different neurons itself some of the neurons will be activated some of the neurons will be deactivated right so through that those signals they are actually considering and you know they are going to use that particular signals to some do some amazing work now why it is necessary i'll just discuss about that uh, they have also said that why did they re require electrodes needs to be connect connected directly through the brain because it requires surgical procedure right i uh, i also showed you that there is something called as eeg right you, which you just place on top of the brain you will be able to see the signals but the details will be blurry all the signals will not be able to capture it. so what they have done is that they have trying to use this electrodes directly which is just in the form of bmi okay that will be placed near the neurons like you can see that we place electrodes near the neurons in order to detect action potentials right so we will uh, they will be placing near the neurons and they'll be capturing those information right now coming to the next thing how do they interface interfacing with the brain so what is the approach and guys uh, i would like to suggest you that uh, there is a video over here and again this link will be given in the description just go through this video it's pretty much amazing you'll be loving it because they have actually made a lot of animation they have explained everything then you'll be understanding why so it is so important you know this is an amazing work i i don't know i have seen this kind of innovation work recently but yes hats off to elon musk and their team they have really done an amazing job over here now interfacing with the brain now how do they actually do this procedure now you, you see that there will be one they are designing the first neural implant that will let you control a computer or a mobile device so this is the first thing that they are actually trying to do what they are going to do is that they'll place those electrodes over there in the brain cells and then they have actually created an app which will actually help to control your mobile phones okay so just imagine like i suppose a person is there who is paralyzed but at least his brain is working right he can if he can actually see just by seeing that okay suppose he wants to move the cursor in his laptop or he wants to type something in his mobile phone right so he can just see he can sense those he can see the words that are present over there and he can just sense those and based on that that word starts gets right written off right in that particular message so this is an amazing thing now how is the procedure going to go happen guys you can see that they have actually taken this uh, micro scale threads are inserted into areas of brain that control movement each thread contains many electrodes and connect them to an implant the link okay so this is how the whole uh, the, the the electrode implant looks like this is called as a link we have sealed implanted device that process stimulates and transmits neural signals it is a very very small device guys you can see just when the person is actually catching it looks very very small it has uh, apart from this it also has this neural threads the threads that you see it will be it will be hanging over there those threads are actually uh, responsible for passing the information and they also have a small charger compact inductive charger wireless connects to the implant to charge the battery from the outside you can also charge those batteries from the outside 
now uh, this was about this uh, precision automated neurosurgery when uh, elon musk was actually showcasing the demo uh, there it was mentioned that the procedure takes somewhere around 45 minutes uh, you know and it is a, just a simple surgical where they will uh, place those electrodes over here and back of the in some location over here back in, of the ear they'll actually going to place that so uh, now see this this is the amazing thing guys they have also created this neuralink app the neuralink app would allow you to control your ios device keyboards and ma mouse directly with the activity of your brain just by thinking about it okay now here you can see some examples right so here is your point pointer okay so uh, if the person who is paralyzed right if he just thinks that he wants to move to the right he will be moving towards the right here you, in the right hand side you can see this right so this is an amazing thing just think like what all things can be done okay a person who is having some kind of disease uh, with respect to paralysis or where he cannot move his hand legs right just with the brain he'll be able to control everything right this is an amazing thing altogether now this was an am amazing example of neuralink app apart from that guys what are the other application how they have actually started with these are the applications so a direct link between the brain and everyday technology this is the initial goal of them so the initial goal of our technology will be to help people with paralysis to regain independence through the control of computers and mobile devices our devices are designed to give people the ability to communicate more easily via text or speech synthesis to follow the curiosity on the web or to express the curiosity through photograph or writing apps now this is one example guys the person is trying to write over here just by seeing you know okay just by seeing just by movement of the eyes just by focusing on something you know that signals gets captured and probably it can be converted into some very good inputs right again guys uh, this is the future of neural engineering and one more thing uh, they have also come up with lot of jobs if you see over here uh, about us uh, if if i just go uh, okay join the team over here link is there if you are very very good at anything you can also apply for the jobs because they require people uh <laughs> you know from different different backgrounds itself because the kind of work uh definitely and the most important domain knowledge is basically about neuroscience if you are very good at neuroscience you can definitely apply it again uh why i am saying that i'm a huge fan of elon musk because just think he he just imagines something he really wants to solve some kind of problem statements right over there if you don't know guys he's also planning to take people colonies in mars and uh, again that is all because of sustainability development that is planning for again he's imagined it he's working on that and one day suddenly announces it this is what we need to learn from them guys they are some really really uh, role models for us you know the success tells us many things so uh, this is it from my side i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel uh, and press the bell notification icon in my next video i'll be coming up with gpt3 again it is an invention of uh elon musk and one more company i missed over here guys is about open ai okay so yes uh, this was all about uh, this very pretty so this is all about from my this is all about this so yes i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel I'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye